Hi friends, our today's topic is Serialism and this is the 15th video of Serialism and in this video we are going to learn Reverse Serialism. So Reverse Serialism is totally different than whatever we have done till now. So let's understand the concept and then try to solve. So in the normal Serialism question what we had seen, there was a statement were given and then we had to tell which conclusion is true or which conclusion is wrong, right? But in Reverse Serialism conclusion will be given and followed by many statement will be there 1, 2, see there may be some 4, 5 statements, I have taken only 2 statement here so that uh, I can cover the Venn diagrams here. So but in the questions in the exam you might have more than some 3, 4 statements, right? So there are 2 conclusions are there and you have to tell either a statement 1 or a statement 2 we will be able to get both the conclusion true, right? Okay, so as I told there will be many more statement will be there, a statement 3, 4, 5. So for all the statements we have to draw the Venn diagram and then we have to tell if the conclusion 1 and conclusion true from which statement, right? So let us take a statement 1 and try to draw the Venn diagram. No pink is black, right? So we are going to draw the Venn diagram. So no pink is black, so here pink and here black there is no relation between pink and black, okay. Now some black are brown, so some part of black is brown and all color are pink, so all those colors are pink, so color will come inside the pink, right. So this is the Venn diagram for a statement 1. Now you see from this diagram, from this statement 1 can both the conclusion will be true or not, right? Okay. So some color are black. So you see color and black there is no relation, right? See the complete pink and black there is no relation. So obviously the color inside the pink will also not have any relation with black. So my conclusion once becomes false. When the conclusion 1 is false then no need to check conclusion 2. So from the statement 1 we cannot get the answer, right? Now for a statement 2, we will draw the Venn diagram. All brown are black, so whatever brown we have is inside black, right? And all black are pink, so whatever black are there, that is inside pink. And some color are brown, so I will use the another marker for that. So some color are brown, so this is my color, see some part of color will be brown, means some color is brown and some brown is color, right, okay. Now we will try to see if the conclusion 1 and conclusion 2 is true or not. So some color are black, so you see color is here and black is here, so see this many portion of color and black are shared, means some colors are black and some black are color which is very much true, from the diagram we are seeing the shared part, so conclusion 1 is true. Now all brown are pink, so you see all brown are inside what? Pink, right? So conclusion 2 is also true. So what will be our answer? Our answer will be a statement 2 is able to give the correct answer, right? So this is nothing but reverse realism where we have to tell which statement will give both the conclusion as true. Question number 2, there are two conclusions are there and followed by two statement as I mentioned in the previous problem, there may be many other statement, a statement 3, a statement 4, a statement 5, okay. So let us draw the diagram. All earth are moon, so all earth will be inside moon, all moon are sun, so all moon will be sun and all sun are Mars, so all sun will be inside Mars. So this is what, this is my Venn diagram, right, for the statement 1. Now let us see a statement 1, from a statement 1, if we can say both the conclusion is true or not. So some earth are moon, so you see earth is here and moon is here. So when all earth are moon, when all A are B, then very well we can say some A or B or 
some b r a see why i am telling like that because when all part of earth is moon then definitely some part of earth will be also moon so by that way it becomes true right and this we have already learnt in the syllogism part 1 so my first conclusion will become true now all moon are mars so you see all those moons are inside the mars right so conclusion 2 is also correct so from the statement 1 itself we can say both the conclusion is true so no need to check for the statement 2 right so statement 1 will be our correct answer